thing that I love about the ecosystem ponds is that the older they get, yeah. the better they look. Look at this, guys. Whoa, I didn't even realize how big this thing was. Yeah. Look at these koi. Oh, this is cool. Come here, guys. I want my whole backyard to just be a giant water feature, you know what I mean? Get out of here, look at this. You know, this is really cool to see how other people have incorporated their homes into nature. And it gives it this illusion that it is even way bigger than it is. Look at this. Oh my God. No way. <laughs> oh, wild. <laughs> look at it. They created space for animals to come and live and be peaceful. This is someone's backyard. Incredible, man. It's hard to get bored in your backyard when you've created a spot like this. Wow. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at how gorgeous that is. God. Are you serious? I get so many great ideas from seeing what they're up to. Dude, that's the Hobbit hole. I'm a nerd, by the way, just in case you haven't figured that out. Wouldn't you guys love to live <laughs> under a waterfall? Let's go check out this Hobbit-inspired house. Oh man, what are we doing today here? I got the uh, wifey poo right there. My buddy Stan from Aquascape, he always drives me whenever I come to Chicago. And uh, I have no idea what I'm doing today. I got a call a couple months ago from good old Greg the Pond Guy saying, hey look, uh, I'm gonna bring you up to um, Chicago in the summer and we're gonna go check out some really cool ponds and some cool places to hang out. Uh, so I truly don't know what this video is gonna be about. We might even be lost right now, right? We don't know where we're at, but here here we go. We're, we're looking for Greg the Pond Guy. Maybe maybe someone knows who Greg is over there. Does this guy know? Hey, he's waving to us. How you doing, buddy? We're looking for ponds. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's special shout out goes to Stephen Cuff. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. All right, guys, so let's see what we're doing here today. I have absolutely no idea, but it's gonna be fun. And you've never seen Aqualand. Never. Oh, this is really well, cool, I've man. I've heard the rumor. Yep, so now you know exactly what I'm doing. There he is. The world's greatest pond magician. We almost didn't find you, man. What's up? To Arlington Heights. Yes. <laughs> Dude, what's going on? Hugs all around. So, what? I have no idea what you're doing here. We're just going to do a little personal pond tour for oh, a couple this of is so stops. Cool, man. We're going to have lunch at my mom's house oh, today. Oh, I love it. So, we're having a fun day. So, we're going to show you guys some really cool aquascape ecosystems. And the cool thing is, Greg, is that when we look at all these different ecosystems, yeah. it's gonna give me ideas for the next pond build we do. <laughs> always, it's always uh, It's so fun, yeah, so. Stan, check this pond out. Oh, uh, let's is, go check it out. This is a pond we built nine years ago, and it's the first swim up bar that we ever built. Oh, really? so it's a rec pond? It's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's actually a swim up bar for fish. Oh, cool. So you sit on the outside and the fish come up to you, but we had never done that before. So I got my, I got my Axis Go, the same awesome. one I gave you. Yes. I'm gonna get some underwater camp footage here. I, just, I love the rocks you guys oh, have yeah. up here. I mean, guys, look at this. I mean, oh God, just beautiful so rocks. It's nine years old, so it's filled in quite nicely. Right. So that's the other thing that I love about the ecosystem ponds is that the older they get, yep. the better they look. There's your wetland filter and a beautiful waterfall. God, that's amazing. <laughs> Isn't that good? That, that is amazing. Stack rock. And of course you can step all over and look at this guys. That's a really nice drop. I love getting, I love seeing this because I can get so many different ideas. So Stan, next, next to your house? Hey, look oh, at that. I have, I have a bunch. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't even realize how big this thing was. Yeah, look at this, yeah, look at these koi. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Nice fish. So this is, this was a, uh, the first time that we'd ever done a, see, see how the bar comes up? Shh, guys. So sit there at the bar and feed the fish. Look at this. Look at these steps. I mean, this, oh, this is cool. So you got little chairs, you could yep. just hang out, yep. feed the fish. Yeah, yeah, there's some food right there, feed them. Oh, cool, man. Well, Check it out. That on video. Yeah, let's go. Come here, guys. There they go, beautiful koi. And of course, being up here in Chicagoland area, um, these koi take the winter no problem. No problem. Yeah, that's awesome, man. They're just carp, you know? Yeah. Same carp as that you see in the in the, the rivers up here. 
Yeah, and Greg doesn't mind getting. Look, it looks like you actually have steps there, Greg. Yeah, they get into their pond. They they they, they wade in. It. It's only three feet deep, but they can wade in it. Yeah, that's nice, you know. And and again, you don't need. If you guys are interested in these um, ecosystem ponds, there's always going to be on the Aquascape website. There is a, con a CAC finder. There is a certified Aquascape contractor finder for your area, so you'll be able to figure out how you can do this and. They have ponds for every size, every budget. And yeah, this I- This is a Ferrari backyard like yours, yeah, you know? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, this is incredible. What kind of uh, pine is that? I have, it's shocking because it's in the water. I am That's not amazing. the plant expert, but I don't know. The thing is literally it, in the water. It creeps, man. I, it, it reminds me of yeah. Japanese, of an actual Japanese uh, yeah, water it, garden. Yeah, it's some sort of a weeping tree. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Now, can they get out and just kind of hopscotch onto these? I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, this is three feet deep. Yours is, what, five and a half, six yeah. feet deep. So wow. this is less of a rec pond. It's more just a large backyard water garden. Yeah, but you know, I just, oh, wait. Do you have two wetlands? Yes, so there's two wetlands on awesome. here. This is one of those projects that as we started building it, they kept adding to it. And and they wanted to expand it because look at this beautiful, these beautiful yeah. bay windows here. This is, oh, that's amazing. They wanted the waterfall over here. And then they're like, but we always entertain in our patio, our pavilion over here. So can we get a waterfall over there? Yeah, that's amazing. So, that's, uh, you know, so. so what's cool is, what's cool is Kate is getting to see this as well because I want my whole backyard to just be a giant, uh, water feature you know what i mean i love it but um let me i'm gonna just kind of wander up here i just love i just really love that these fish have so much to kind of explore but look at how beautiful this is i hope i hope the homeowners don't mind that i'm really getting involved in this but my gosh look at how beautiful the wetland filters themselves are a work of art it's not just some mechanical pump all that's hidden but this is as i've said before on my rec pond that's the workhorse that's what's cleaning the water that's what's creating the the habitat for microorganisms to clean and do their job so essentially what aquascape builds they are ponds but you can think of them almost like a river system the water's always moving there's always flowing water through, and that really keeps this water clear. So beautiful. That is amazing. I love this driftwood. Such beautiful driftwood. And then the character of these rocks is amazing. We need reptiles, though. We need reptiles in these ponds. I talked to Dan, the owner. Okay. Said, Can we come in and, 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 and film? Do you still have that little turtle? Because Oh, wow. What do we got? They've had a... They've had a, 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 a Are they here? Uh, they just left. They said they it's said, okay. Said, We're not breaking said, and entering. And okay. Our pond customers are prime customers, right? Oh, uh, look got, at this. I know what. I know you'll know what kind that is. Look oh yeah. He, he, oh, he's doing a handstand. <laughs> oh, it's a midland painted <laughs> turtle. Midland May I grab turtle. it? Yes. Do you think? Oh, it's a little midland painted. I used to catch these at Woodward Camp. Probably the easterns. Well, no. Uh, midlands start in Pennsylvania. Okay, okay. And they come all the way into the Midwest. And then once you get a little further west of uh, here, you'll start getting western, western painted. painted yeah. But the Midland, you can tell because right here, this dark little um, marking along the plastron is where you're gonna know that's the Midland painted turtle. So this is a species I used to catch all the time when I lived in Pennsylvania, uh, in, in Center County, Pennsylvania, near State College. Uh, just a beautiful little turtle. And uh, so they've had this guy for a long time, huh? Wow, long time. Man, I would love to see them get this little guy outside and in the yeah, pond, so, so. but they'd have to do something to secure the pond uh, from him being able to walk away because truth is, he would walk away, no worries. But hey, how awesome is that? They got a little turtle. So here's the view from that. Oh, I know. This, guys, look at this. Hon, we, we talked about maybe trying to do something to where we could see our pond more, but we found out that it would be very difficult to do with the structure of oh, our house. Sure. You, you can't just blow wall. out. Sure. Yeah. Anyway, man, we'll just have to walk outside to experience our pond. All right. So hey, there you go. Got some longboards. Hey, man, <laughs> I'm not going to get hurt today. That's, that's not going to happen. So this is a really cool first treat. Uh, again, super excited to see what we got going on today. We're going to visit a couple of ponds. We're also going to visit with Ed the Pond Professor and uh, I'm going to get to meet the woman who created this masterpiece. Look at this specimen of oh, a man. Oh yes, my mom. Your mom. Your mom. My biggest fan. There you go. 
All right, guys, very cool. We're gonna keep this party rolling. All right, so we are at the second stop here on our Tour de Pond, and already... Uh, Certified wildlife habitat. No way, really? Yes. Get out of here. Okay. Look at this guy. Wait, is this an actual reverse of a wetland? Yeah. It's it's our uh it's kind of like a a, a reservoir like vanishing yeah. Edge. So there's aqua blocks sitting under there to just recirculates, but this family really likes pine trees. And not only do they have pine trees, but there's something very unique that I want to show you All here right, let me back see. here. But look at this living area. Oh my gosh. Look at it. You, you know, this is unique. really cool to see how other people have incorporated their homes into nature. And that's yeah. one of the things I've always loved about what you guys do at Aquascape. Gorgeous. But when we yeah. came in here, Kenan, this was just grass. Really? So it was just a lawn in the backyard. They bought the house, they wanted the water. There was an architect involved and he had the pond completely bass backwards. Brian met with them and they reversed everything. And then they built this pavilion to be able to kind of sit back here and enjoy it. Yeah, that's it, whether it's raining or not. Oh yeah. You could be this out here. This is where they live. And uh, truly, all of these beautiful pine trees. Again, we're seeing different, you know, some really different uh, plants that we don't normally see here in our tropical environment of Florida. But what I love about it is it's essentially like you have your own park. This you is know a, what I mean? Is a, this is a park. And not only is it. Let's walk. Just Let's keep walk walking. around. I yeah. want to show you the kind of the cool thing about that we're always going to, as, as cool as the pond is. In our mind, when we talk about these customers, you know, oh, the customers with the X. Look, first of all, look at this. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so I love they, that. They, they love national parks, and they, they tour all the national parks. And what, what part of the pine trees is it, is it creates mystery, so it just keeps going and spinning back there. And it gives it this illusion that it is even way bigger than it is. You see? Okay, so you got these beautiful. Wait, now is this a um, one of your bio falls? It's just a bio falls. That's amazing. So, th this is one bio falls, one and bio what do you got? Little a little, a little water spillway. coming out there, a, spillway. A spillway. Look at this, guys! Duckweed just living on the sides of the rock and hiding. That's really unique to see that all the mosses. I absolutely love. Okay, so this Kate, is like a cool thing. What do you think, babe? I want you to. Cool, Kate, huh? I want to get Kate's expression when she turns okay. the corner here. Okay, what do we got? First of all, got a little camping area. The northern woods we're wow. in. Wow. Come on. This is so cool. <laughs> Isn't it neat? It's just fun. But that's not the piece Beautiful. of resistance here. The oh, piece no, of re when you turn and go around this, you'll see it. There's still more water. Look at this. Oh my God. No way. <laughs> it's a teepee. <laughs> not only is it a teepee, it's a working teepee. They no actually no make way. fires in it. And he says this is where he reads his books and kind of falls asleep oh. in an afternoon nap. Oh no my God. way. I want a teepee. <laughs> oh Food my gosh. Like the kids love this. Oh, this, <laughs> is this is beautiful, man. What a gorgeous backyard. Yeah, the kids would freak out for this. Yeah, Holy smokes, very, man. I can't can believe- I have a lot of eclectic customers. Yeah. So look at this. This is- Oh, wild. <laughs> look at it. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful place. So cool. That is amazing. Look at that. He's got some axes and tomahawks here. I mean, I wow. like this guy. I know, I have the coolest customer. I haven't even met the fella and I, I like him. Um, just beautiful, so look at this cool. piece of, this nice little walking stick. And I love the, even the fact that they've got like a dry riverbed. Yep. You know? So this dry oh, riverbed, get out of here. So it, 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 it actually will flow with flowing water in here and go under and they, we just added the waterfalls to run, you know, continuously, but it'll, it'll have two, three inches of water in it when it rains. That's incredible. But you know, I look at this and I keep seeing how can we incorporate reptiles and animals into this and as he said this is a certified backyard habitat which means that they have gotten that certification because they created space for animals to come and live and be peaceful and uh, so wait a minute this is just like a pondless waterfall yeah so it's a pondless waterfall inside a dry stream bed that is so this is the aqua blocks that sit down here and then this was how we got rid of rainwater that would flow through the back of the yard. That is true. I mean, look at the pine trees. Oh, oh. yeah. Well, I kind of want to go walk down. Go walk over here and just look at these big boulders. I mean, the boulders are impressive to me. I love rock. But yes, just look at where we are, guys. This is someone's backyard. Incredible, man. And I'll tell you what. Some of you may be overwhelmed. You may think, oh, this is totally out of my reach. How can I do something like this? 
I have to be honest, when I was a young person, I always had these dreams in my head about backyards like this. I always wanted a backyard that nature can come to and enjoy. And um, if you put your mind to it and work hard, these things are not out of reach. They're just not. Uh, so it's really impressive and gorgeous. So let's have a look, some more of these. They've got beautiful koi here. Yeah, look, at, look at these fish they got. Let's see. Some and really a beautiful nice, little really puppy nice dog. Koi. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's so much fun. Um, I think you guys are getting the picture. We just need some turtles in here. I love it. So cool. Driftwood. <laughs> Tour of some of the coolest backyards in Chicago, in my opinion. And what a time of year to do this. Definitely don't want to come up here in the winter, but it's amazing. Just a, a fantastic, a fantastic little walk. It's hard to get bored in your backyard when you've created a spot like this. And here's the other side of this dry riverbed, which just runs right down. Well done. Well done. Oh, and it looks as though that's a, looks like a little Shinto arm. I don't know. I don't know if that's Shinto or not, but it looks like that, that little trellis. So cool. Whoa, big fish. Love it. Well, we're gonna continue this tour. Let's see what else we can find. Dos, no, dos is dos. Tres, pando. Yes. Tres, tres. Tres? What the, what the Spanish teacher Yeah, exactly. I don't know what's going on. But uh, I'm having fun today. It's gorgeous. And uh, I love the passion in Greg wow. seeing what your team has created. I haven't been here in two years. It's filled in. Oh my gosh. So Wait, we, I've seen this. Yes, we built it two years ago for built. Polymonium. I've seen this, guys, being built. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is just a traditional neighborhood with grass in the backyard, and now look at it. Hibiscus plant, they got some yep. tropicals too. Yep, yep. Wow, so, it's cool to see some Florida plants. So, plants see, this, Florida. see this, these windows? It's yeah. That window from their main room is supposed to look all the way down this stream. Guys, look at how gorgeous that is. Look at how gorgeous. How can you not appreciate what these guys create? I've been calling them ecosystem artists because that's what we're standing on. We're standing on a functioning habitat. There's all kinds of things happening in here. All kinds of animals, birds coming down. But look at these destination rocks. I love it. Oh my gosh, the koi are gorgeous. Like half of these fish were born here. So yeah, this is nice. A little bit of blue dye in the water. Oh, that's why it's Yeah, it's a little bit of blue dye. But uh, look at all those fish, and most of them were born here. Wild. I love just the access here. You can walk across. Again, more of the plant life growing in and around the rocks. So, Kenan, yeah. you're standing where the fire pit is, oh, and also so cool. where the wetland is. We have an underground wetland here because we have limited space in the yard, so you're standing on top of aqua blocks. Really? What? So how does that work? So it just, the liner goes up like this. This is all filled with aqua blocks. Okay. The liner goes on top again so that it's impervious and then the water just flows back through. Oh, so, so that's this is where the, This is where the wetland filter is. It's just all subterranean. You don't see it. That is crazy. And it's because they wanted to utilize the space. You know, they wanted to still keep their yard for the kids. They have young kids for throwing the football around and stuff, but this is their rec pond. Oh, they yeah. swim in this. Oh, yep. amazing. So that, that waterfall, I'm going to pick that. Took, oh yeah, they shut that off. Right this is so beautiful. Yeah, so lots of koi. Um, this is gorgeous, man. Power head, you can see they have one of their power heads just pushing water. Wild. Let's go see this main body here. God, are you serious? So this is a recreation pond. I haven't seen a recreation pond up north. So, oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. How deep is this one? It looks about, it's deep. Six feet deep. It's a, about a half a foot deeper than mine. Uh, but again, you know, you can see to the bottom, uh, that clarity is nice. This is a pond, no harsh chemicals in it. Gorgeous. What's that, mate? The waterfall. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, and then there's that bottom aerator right here. That is 
Oh, I'll tell you, it's starting to get warm. I feel like taking a dip. Yeah, it's, it's... That is so cool. And then here is the pondless return. This is where the water gets pumped back yeah, to the, the top. This is, the yeah, this is like six feet deep here. This is filled with the aqua blocks again. And this is where everything, everything flows to. And this was a build a pond day. So we did this at Pondemonium, which is our annual event. Yes. And we did this for a, a, a build a pond day three, day three years ago. And the challenging part of this build was all of the soil had to be removed from the site. You can see it's pretty flat. I mean, there's a little bit for that berm. Okay. We probably took 40, 50 trucks of soil through the front gate, that one little gate with the bobcat, and just pulled it out of here because everything that we dug up had to move out because they just had a flat And what'd you yard. do with the soil? We hauled it off and, and, and dumped it. What? So, yeah. Man, I would use that soil. <laughs> I could use that soil. This, this is, is gorgeous. this is a suburban though. neighborhood. Right. Look at it. It's surrounded by houses. Yeah. This is an old neighborhood and they didn't want to move. So these are the kind of people that get a rec pond. They wanted to have the experience of like a Wisconsin home, but they didn't want to move with their kids in school and everything else. So they built Wisconsin in their backyard. This is just amazing. How many gallons do you think this is? Oh, uh, this is probably, this is probably 30,000 gallons right here. Probably another 10,000 on the stream. Yeah. 40, 40,000. Yeah. Uh, I would say, yeah. Yeah. Wow. But look at this guys. You can just wander right over. You got beautiful flowers. I'm, a, I'm, None of these ponds are exactly the same. And that is one of the more beautiful things about Aquascape and what you get. And the other cool thing is the Aquascape CACs, the artists that create these habitats, they work with you. And things as, you'll, as you've seen with my build, you may have an idea in your head and it changes and they're able to change with it and work with the environment that you had. So it's really cool. So I don't know, man, I'm, I'm really loving seeing all these beautiful habitats and the ponds and I'm getting a lot of ideas because you guys know, once you start with reptiles and turtles, it's not like I'm gonna stop. And that's why I jumped at the opportunity to come up here and you know hang out with Greg and we're gonna see Ed here in a little while um, because those guys, they've been so good to me and I get so many great ideas from seeing what they're up to. So you better believe that I'm actually up here doing research. I'm up here because you know what we need to do? We're gonna be having that alligator move in um, definitely in a couple of months. And I have I have um, those Batagura finis and the Fly River turtles. Those animals are gonna need a larger pond. And so I'm actually on a fact-finding mission. A little vacation. What do you like? Workcation, right? Little work. She's having fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. But yeah, we got to come up with something for the Fly River Turtles and the large Batagra Finis because I can't have them in with the alligator. They'll get eaten. So we're going to create something really cool for them. And uh, you know who's going to help me build it, right? Those guys. <laughs> this is awesome, though. Whew. All right. Well, our day is moving right along. I, I, think, we need, I think we need to show Kate a little bit of what Aqualand is all about. I think your mind's gonna be blown when we show you Aqualand. Wait, yeah. I've been building it up. All right, we're gonna get there, but one more time. Wow. I'm all right. Sure, I don't care. Hey, what's going on? No, I don't care, we're at home. So, all right, so we saved the, the most interesting pond for last. You know this guy, it's the pond professor, man. So he lives, you live kind of off the beaten path. I do, yes. Yeah. Yep. This is, look at guys. <laughs> Corn, man, children of the corn. <laughs> Just what you would expect from this uh, you got it. this guy. So we're we're hanging out. We're gonna have a little dinner, but I wanted to show you the final pond on today's tour here in the Chicago land area. Although we're about 50 miles uh, we west, we are 50 miles west, correct, of Chicago. So it's really cool. And you guys have a really interesting farm here, man. You yeah. got some goats. You will we show me wait. around a little bit. Well, we gotta wait for Alan. So oh, this oh, is okay. her. So my wife, this is really her thing. So okay. I gotta make sure that she's ah, gonna be here. All right, cool. No worries. <laughs> So, uh, can you show me the pond a I little can bit? I the pond. Let's Actually, I just fed, I just fled, fled, I just fed Titan the Fly River. Oh, and cool. he is actually out eating. Oh, everything. let's go see him, man. That's so cool. <laughs> I know everyone's going to be psyched to see a pond that has turtle in it. And so, this is awesome, man. No, dude, that's the Hobbit hole. I am seeing the Hobbit hole in real life. Like, this is like if you were living in the Shire. You would be like Bilbo Baggins after he came back from his trip to the Lonely Mountain where he helped 
Dane, and everyone get the uh, the horde from Smaug. Really, really cool. Look at this pond, man. I'm a nerd, by the way, just in case you haven't figured that out. All right, let's see. Now he just disappeared. Oh, come on, you gotta dig him out. They wanna see him. Ah, I put apples. So as soon as I put those in, he came and took a bite out of it. So oh, yeah, that you can see. I literally just put this in here. Put what, the turtle? No, I, I put this in here to feed oh, them. Oh, awesome. So I put different types of fruit on here. He seems to like the apples the best. I do uh, oranges, kiwi, apples, and he loves the apples. What about put, banana? You should try banana. They I love banana. I have not tried banana. Do you like bananas? They love bananas, okay, yeah. Okay, I definitely will. So, but, you know, we got this turtle from Big Rich at Ohio Fish Rescue. Okay. He, he, he said, this is the one turtle that I've never had, kind of, and he said, would you like it? And I go, yes. That is awesome, so man. We built them this pond just for yep. you know that. Cichlids in here. Oh wow, dude! So this is a tropical warm water pond. Very cool. All tropical plants. Bio Falls. Yep. We've got a little intake, intake. bay here. Got I got to tell you, man, I like the intake bays the best. Yeah. I feel like they're the most efficient way yeah. to kind of cycle it, and clean it everything. Definitely is good for cycling. It's def it's lower maintenance. If you're well, I know I've been to your place. Yeah. You got so much stuff happening. Yeah. Ellen has her hands full here, so this we can get away with. I have yet to. It's been in for two months. I haven't done anything. Done anything. It's beautiful. No, I haven't done anything. Love the driftwood you guys have. But we've got to find we this gotta turtle. Find Titan. He literally, oh, he's got a beach and everything. You know, so the reason I did the beach, because this is where I let him go. This is the easiest place for him to get out. So I wanted to see if he was coming out at night. Okay. So in the morning, I'll check for tracks. Very cool. So, so right just now you can that. see birds. But okay, but no, no Titan. No Titan. Cool name, man. So Let's he see. likes to go under that log. I was going to say, he, they love to hide. Oh, here's a frog. Where you go? Oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> is that a you know, that, no, that, no, that's a northern, uh, what kind of frog is that? Yeah, that's a green frog. Okay. I don't know my frogs. And then we got tons, well, there's tons of, well, the tadpoles now are turning to toads. We so, have thousands hey, of them. Did you see Alan two, two weeks ago? One of the bullfrogs ate a bird. I did see that, and you guys made it onto nature's metal. Yes, we did. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah. They got, yeah. Them, oh, they got God, hooked they up, man. <laughs> Uh, Nature's Metal is a really cool, cool Instagram, cool Instagram, uh, you know, account that you guys, if you aren't already following, you should check it out. We got on it too when Slinky ate the snake. Oh, we yes. got on there. Oh, so yeah. nice. it's usually when things go very wrong, <laughs> you get on Nature's Metal. Well, I'll tell you what, let's look at the rest of the pond and I'll go ahead and get my underwater camera cool. and we'll go probing around yeah, for this yeah, guy yeah. in a little bit. Hey, I get my goodness yeah, though. So that's awesome, two separate man. systems. Yep. Oh, I love the videos watching you guys build this. Yeah, it was fun. It was a fun project. Uh, no, actually, I don't have... This is going to be all native fish. Okay. So I'm trying to do it with native stuff. There's some really cool local creeks around here, really high water quality. I'm, I'm waiting for a permit to catch and keep native oh, species. Very cool. But it's very slow, as I know I know you're very familiar oh, with that Oh, yeah, process. permitting is not, yeah. not exactly fun. And so, yeah, I see a lot of the tadpoles. tadpoles. Yep. And you've done sand in the bottom here. Yes, after you. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool because it worked out. We it experimented. Worked. We did. Yeah, because you guys are... You know, the reason they use the gravel uh, as the substrate is because, again, microorganisms, right. places for those animal or those micro creatures to do their work. Yep. But you were worried about it becoming hypoxic, but it, with the flow you guys have, I don't think it matters. No issue at all. I don't yeah. think so. And it's not thick. You know, the gravel, right. you know, the sand is two inches. Yeah, it's, it's great. Inches. That's really, really cool, man. Love it. You got some carnivorous plants. Right. Pitcher plants right yeah. there. Uh, but I think this is, wouldn't you guys love to live? <laughs> under a waterfall how cool is this let's go check out this hobbit hobbit inspired house that's his <laughs> window well let's oh, have a look you can see the landscaping this way so you just have to yep that's okay no you guys are gonna get the behind the scenes right? tour it's really cool though that is oh, amazing stone, stairway coming in i gotta do more stone work on this side this will all be vegetation yep this is awesome dude what a cool hangout I mean, when do you find the time? You are so busy. That's why it's not done. Yeah. He's got his own <laughs> ponds in the backyard, and you probably are doing this on the weekend, right? Literally. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. This yeah. is incredible, though, yeah. man. Yeah. This is what you would expect from the guy who has created literally thousands of water features. This is very unique and it very cool. totally different. Yeah. This, this uh, again, this whole trip I was telling everyone uh, during my whole vlog today was basically about getting ideas. And that's what's so cool about coming out here and seeing what you guys do and how you build. 
up north yep. and it just gives me more ideas of what I would like to do in the future because you know I've been telling listen I'm, I'm I, I know you're the best dude you're the best <laughs> I've been telling everyone the reason that of course you know I do need we talked about it um, a few months back Ed and I about a larger uh, pond for some of those bigger turtles I have more fly rivers that I need home for mm -hmm. because we're gonna put the alligator in that pond I had dug and right now I've got three large bad girl finis and the two um, fly river turtles yes so I need to yeah I got to come up with something because I can't have headless turtles <laughs> um, no. and that's what I will have if I don't get another pond but I'm not looking to do that this guy's busy I'm I'm whenever they're ready I'm ready for them but slinky loves his pond this is an awesome day all the beautiful incredible uh plants and yeah completely guns. different from florida right totally nuts <laughs> man i love it oh, oh yeah. tightens out let's go see him everyone yeah he does so he's really enjoying it huh oh yeah he loves it no he just was here and he swam over there all I got, right i got underwater though well <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and get my camera yeah he'll come out and probably tried to he took another bite that's what he did so there's two bites out of there now oh he's a small guy he's not big okay Oh, we got to see this guy. Do you get hands on him, Evan? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I caught him two days ago. There was a, Ellen had a group of kids out here, and I grabbed him, and I was showing them and telling them all about the Fly River. That is so cool. Tell them about your channel and go check oh, you wow. out. Oh, <laughs> wow. Thanks, man. You're too kind. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch cameras. We're going to go underwater, and I'll get you some shots of Titan, the Fly River Turtle, young guy. Young guy. Awesome. All right, so we got lucky. I was able to get him. I even got wet to do it. We found him off camera, but here he is, Titan. So Big Rich from uh, Ohio Fish Rescue yeah. sent you this animal, Correct, huh? yeah, Josh brought him up, which okay. is awesome. Look at oh this. Oh my gosh, incredible. Guys, I'm so used to seeing big ones. Uh, <laughs> this is a cute little guy, and I see why he named him Titan. So again, for those of you who have never, ever seen a Fly River Turtle, uh, very unique species. They, they're pretty much one of a kind in the turtle world in that they are the only freshwater turtle that have paddles and flippers here instead of uh, the most aquatic turtles, which have webbed feet. Uh, you can also see uh, remnants or toenails there. Uh, they're not vestigial. They actually use them. Uh, a vestigial organ would be something that is no longer oh used, God. but they actually do use uh, those nails and they'll use it to kind of tear up some of the fruit oh, um, so okay. they'll, they'll tear it into smaller chunks yeah. so they can do that and i would also imagine it helps them cling on to the females yeah. when they are copulating yeah. so it's a really really cool uh remnant of when they in fact if you look guys you can actually see this is a long toe these are all just long toes uh they're a bone in there and that's what creates the paddle so it's really almost like um and i'm just kind of this is all anecdotal. This is not, you know, the science of taxonomy, but it really looks as though it's an animal that is between mm. freshwater aquatic turtles and sea turtles, which are more specialized, obviously, for the ocean. Oh, that's a great observation. I, would I agree. Know. That totally makes sense. Though. Yeah, I mean, it really does. That's all scientists do, guys. Is yeah. is they're they're detectives and they're just trying to make sense of the natural world. And uh, hey, you got to have a bit of a, an imagination. You're a scientist, but you're also an artist, man, because yeah. you're taking what nature does and you're doing what, a term I love. It's biomimicry. Bio I love it, dude. <laughs> uh, be a great name for a nerd band, the Biomimics. Uh, it would be cool. Or, or a Frontline Assembly Song, which is a really obscure industrial band that I listen to. And look, there's Frisbees <laughs> flying out over it. Here you go, man. There's Cole. What's that? Austin. That's Austin. Yeah, very cool. So anyway, beautiful little turtle. And uh, I'm glad we got a chance to see it, man. Finally. Absolutely, right? We saw toe, uh, excuse me, a green frog eat. You got toad tadpoles, cichlids. We definitely saved the best for last as far as fun stuff. Always a pleasure, man. Likewise. I love it. Likewise. Man. We're going to have our little uh, house on the prairie meal right out here. Look at this. This is amazing. All right, everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy what you see here. Head on over to Ed the Pond Professor on YouTube and on Instagram, as well as Greg the Pond Guy. There he is, holding Titan. All right, Baby. again, on Instagram and YouTube, you can find these guys. If you're interested in ponds, these are the masters of pond building here uh, and across the globe. And there's a lot of opportunities if you guys really want to do something, 
you guys are looking for good people to work for yes, for you. Lord. So if you live in the Midwest or think about relocating to the Chicago land area or anywhere in the world where a certified office stage contractor there you building go. ecosystem on this nature. You know, the Ed's best be for 27 years. 28. That's right. 28 years yeah. we've been working together. He started the Ed Hair. Look what working with him can do for you. I'm just kidding. That's, that's, I'm I, just kidding. I, I, don't, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I've only known him in a few short years. I went bald. Now, and I love to say, I love my he job. He loves his job. See you guys.